We're in the kitchen all the time. We pretty much live here. It's the heart of the house. Well, it's fake marble. Chris Jenner has a fake. Yeah, <laughs> big, big time. Hi everybody, I'm Desmond from Haifa Limestone and today we're gonna to critique some more celebrity homes. Ellen Pompeo. Hey AD, I'm Ellen Pompeo. Welcome to my house at the beach. Good actress, yeah, she's done a ton of stuff. Okay, so I cook a lot. Ooh, you gotta cook. So again, we have the same Brazilian book match marble, which if you notice, the design sort of comes together even though the walls are separated. The pattern flows in a way that is really beautiful. See how dramatic that is? The center axis and everything radiates out. So you see the way they went with the very simple white countertop there, they don't wanna be competing with the wall. The wall is the feature and then the simplicity of the simple pure white on the counter. White quartz is expensive. I've seen white quartz slabs from 10 to $15,000 a slab if it's very, very white. If it's got more yellows and browns and earth tone colors, it's, it's cheaper because it's easier to produce. It's not as rare. So this is the primary bathroom. We spend a lot of time in here, me and my daughters, and we just try to sit around and relax. The whole bathroom is the same stone. So the tub is slabs of marble. First issue is usually it's too big. So who's gonna sit around for an hour to fill the bathtub. Then the shape of the slabs, I'm dealing with flat slabs, so it's very hard to give you a comfortable feel. And then the stone is a conductor. If the stone is cold, it's gonna suck the heat right out of that water in no time. The other option would be, we would carve the tub from a block of the same stone. And when we do that, we can sculpt it, whatever shape you want, and keep the size to a good size that makes sense. It's a cool idea, but uh, we, Teach the we don't do it a lot. Why is marble so popular in bathrooms? It's a wow factor. You know, when you walk in, artificial material, even the porcelains and the ceramics, you know they're fake. You don't even have to be an expert, a designer or an architect to appreciate and understand and see that it's, it's real stone. When you walk in, you know. Chris Jenner. Hi guys, I'm Chris Jenner. Come on in. Do you know who she is? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't? We're in the kitchen all the time. We pretty much live here. It's the heart of the house. Well, it's fake marble. Chris Jenner has a fake. Yeah. <laughs> big, big time. When they make the copies, the countries that manufacture the fake slabs, I don't think there's a level of sophistication because, I mean, if they, if they just copied a real slab, that would make some sense. But they don't. They... They do these really weird veins and they, they don't look natural. It just jumps out as, as a phony. If you don't get the aesthetic right, then it doesn't work. And loving to make cookies and snacks for all the grandkids who come by on a regular basis. Compared to real calicata, it's a quarter of the price. So a big difference. But if you're only cooking cookies, that's okay. And the powder room. I love how dark that powder room is. So the, the stone, that material on the vanity is a quarry outside of Barcelona and it's a very nice hard gray limestone. Wall mounted faucets, slab backsplash, and then the integrated sink, which we do all the time. You can make that sink as wide as you want, as deep as you want, whatever shape you want. It's a very nice look, really finishes the room, has a, has a big impact on the aesthetics of the room. Th that's, that's real stone, yeah. That's real limestone. Right, Viola. We are in the kitchen. The kitchen. Fake marble. So you can tell by the miter, the dead giveaways are, uh, I can tell by the vein, and you can also tell by the sink because the sink is undermounted. And when you undermount the sink, you're cutting through the stone. Now you can see how thick the stone is, if it's not a true material where the vein goes through, it's exposed, you can see it. We love it because mm. it's big. We love this giant island with this Calcutta porcelain on it. Ah, uh, Calcutta porcelain, what did I tell you? But it's, it's different than the quartz. Because it's porcelain, it has a better color, it has a better polish, and it has a better realistic depth to it. So. Face value, looking at the slab, it looks pretty good.
But the problems are when you fabricate it, you can't do this, you can't do that. Here's the, uh, the edge. Let's say there's a vein, it's going to come along and it's going to stop and it's not going to, it's not going to return down, which is a complete giveaway that it's not the real thing. The porcelain out of Italy is about a third of the price of the real calicata. Great, you're saving there, but then you have to miter the edge. You can't do a polished edge. You see it on the sinks. You have to do a mitered edge. You have no flexibility on, fin on, uh, on profiles. And that's not explained to people when they buy the slabs. Because they're, they're not getting the fabricator's perspective on that until they're into it. If the aesthetic is compromised, and at the end of the day it looks fake and cheap, I think it's a huge mistake, especially if they have the money to begin with. So there you go. I'm getting all these like um, emails from people who are um, subscribing. Why am I getting emails about that? I suppose it's not a bad thing, right? <laughs> Thanks for watching and like, comment, and subscribe. But they know that already.